Please stand up and please open your Bible in Exodus chapter 32 verse 1 to 6. Exodus chapter 32 verses 1 to 6. Okay, we will read this responsively. I will read verse 1. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down, come down, out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together into, unto Aaron, and said unto him, Up make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them of their hand and fashioned it with a great tool after he had made it a molten cup. And they said, This be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early in the morrow, and offered burnt offerings, and brought up these offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink, and rose up to the Let us pray, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po muli sa hapong ito, sa pagkakataon na kami, Panginoon, ay makapag-aaral niyo yung salita. Tulungan niyo kami, Panginoon, na kayo po magbigay ng kaunawaan sa amin, at itama, Panginoon, ang bawat pagkakamali po. Yes nang bawat isa sa amin sa inyong salita. Thank you so much, Lord, dahil ang inyong salita ay para sa lahat. Ito po'y makapangyarihan. And help us, O oh Lord, na kayo po ang mag-glorify sa aming kalagitnaan. Thank you so much, Lord, sa opportunity na kami, Panginoon, ay nakakapaglingkod sa inyo na may kalayaan. At sa pagkakataong ito, Panginoon, kami po'y nagpapasalamat. Patawad, Panginoon, sa bawat kasalanan ng aming buhay. Linis niyo, Panginoon, ang aming puso't kaisipan. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Amen. Tayo po mga po na po, maraming salamat. Now, this afternoon, we will study about the impatient Christians. The impatient Christians. Now, we will focus on verse 1. Okay, I will read in verse 1. By the way, we are not Israelites. Okay? Eh, uh, uh, gusto ko lang pong uh, tayo po ay makakuha ng aral in verse 1. The Bible says, And when the people saw that Moses delayed, the word delayed, okay? When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out the land of Egypt, we want not, for it is become of him. Now, in verse 1 to 6, we will see here the broken law. Bigay ko lang po ang background ng chapter 32. In verse 7, the condemnation of the Lord. To, uh, yes, yes, chapter 7 to 10. And verse 11 to 14, the, the, the advocacy of Moses. Verse 15 to 28, we will, we will see here the, the disciplinary judgments of God. In verse 29, the mist blessing and verse 30 hanggang 35 the confession and intercession of Moses now in this story Moses was having this glory 40 days mountaintop experience with God we know that God had given the 10 commandments to Moses and this was the time of giving instruction to the Israelites but the down at the base of the mountain something very different was going on now we can see here in verse 1, And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount. By the way, gusto pong ipakita sa inyo, what is impatience? Impatience means eager for change or for something expected or hasty. That is the word impatience. Now, ito mga Israelites sa ito ay masyadong nainip sa pagdating ni Moses. Okay? Sila ay sa kanilang pagkainip or sa kanilang pagka uh, uh, paghihintay kay Moses, sila ay nagkasala sa Panginoon. 
Now, the reasons of being impatient of Israelites are, number one, they are weary of waiting for the promised land. And we know that, okay? Sila po ay patungo sa promised land. And number two, they were weary of waiting for the return of Moses in verse 1. And lastly, they were weary of waiting for a divine institution of religious worship among them, and they want to worship. But, but this afternoon, we will focus our study about the characteristics of impatient Christians. And I do believe po na tayo po ay matututo sa mga Israelitang ito. Amen? Kaya nga in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse, uh, please open your Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11, that this event were written down for our what? Instruction. Amen? Ito po ay nasulat para sa ating instruction. And praise God dahil meron mga story sa Bible na pwede tayong matuto. Amen? Amen? Kaya nga po maraming salamat sa Panginoon dahil ang simbahang ito or ang pulpitong ito ay hindi nagsasawang mangaral ng salita ng Diyos. Bakit? Dahil tayo po ay patuloy na tinuturuan ng Panginoon. Ang pagkatuto ay walang, ano, walang, kumbaga, hindi po dapat itumatigil sa ating buhay. Dahil, sabi nga ng mga preachers na tayo ay hindi perfecto. Sa ating araw-araw na pamumuhay na dap, tayo po ay dapat merong matutunan. But, this afternoon, Pag-aralan po natin ang salitang impatience. Okay, number one, the impatient Christians are faithless Christians. In verse one, and when the people saw that Moses delayed. By the way, what is faith? In Hebrews chapter 11 verse one, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the, and the eviden evidence of things not seen. Faith defines as belief in and devotion to God. Okay? And it is very important for us because without faith, it is impossible to please Him. And we have no place with God. Without faith. Amen? Without faith. Hebrews 11.6, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. A big part of our faith is waiting. Amen? A big part of our faith is waiting. Waiting. At makikita po natin ito sa buhay ng mga taga-Israelita. What we do while we wait reveals what kind of faith we have. It's not easy to wait. Amen? Amen. Hindi, po, uh, hindi madaling maghintay. Yes, it may be long, but remember that God does not give empty words para sa ating lahat. Ang salita niya ay kumpleto, ang salita niya ay totoo sa bawat isa sa atin. Kaya nga po, ang salitang wait ay kaakibat na po ng buhay ng isang Kristiyano. Ang paghihintay na merong kasamang pananampalataya. But impatient Christians are faithless Christians. In Psalm 62 verse 5, My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. It is total dependence upon God. You are trusting Him totally. Now, these Israelites, they were looking for Moses and not for God. In verse 1, sino hinihintay nila? Si Moses. Amen? They are looking for Moses and not for God. Now, why impatient Christians are faithless Christians? Alam niyo po ba sa ating henerasyon, tayo ay nasa panahon ng tinatawag na instant, except doon sa sinabi ni Pastor Joel. Instant in that verse is to be ready to preach. But sa ating, ating, sa, sa ating panahon, tayo po ay nasa panahon na natinatawag na mangyari ang lahat sa, uh, sa oras na ito. Ayun po ang ating gusto sa ating buhay. Pero hindi po dapat ganun ang mangyari. Dahil ang Panginoon ay merong tinuturo sa atin. Na hindi porkit meron kang pangarap, gusto mo mangyari ngayon. Meron kang gustong kunin sa makalawa, gusto mong makuha ngayon. Merong proseso na ibinibigay sa atin ang Panginoon. Kaya nga meron tayong tinatawag ng fast food. Ayaw natin magluto, gusto na lang natin kumain. Tama po ba? Ayun ang gusto natin, instant food. 
Ayaw mag ayaw mong gumayit ng sibuyas, ayaw mag gumayit ng gumayit ng ng ng, ng bawang, ayaw mong puma, pumunta sa palengke, gusto man ng instant food. Ayun ang ating ayun yun tayo mismo mga kapatid. But ang Biblia ay nagtuturo sa atin na maghintay. Amen? Maghintay, magkaroon tayo ng patience mga kapatid. We are in the generation of Christians who wants it now. And God simply does not work that way. Why? And the, and the reason He doesn't work that way because He is wise. His plans are perfect. Amen. Hindi pwede mangyari ang lahat ng bagay ngayon. Meron tamang panahon, meron tamang oras sa bawat isa sa atin. Faithless, faithless ang isang Kristiyano kung tayo ay impatient. Okay? But sad to say, we are sinning for being impatient, mga kapatid. In the case of Israel, their impatience was not only impatience with God, but also with their leaders. When the text says in verse 1, And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down of the mount, impatient people, they were tired waiting for Moses. That's why they wanted something done, and they wanted it to be done right away. They were people who want it now. But we can see here in this story, sa buhay ni Aaron. Pasok ko lang po si Aaron. You can see it in their words to Aaron. Anong sinabi nila nung sila'y nainip? Nung sila'y naghihintay kay Moses? Anong sabi nila kay Aaron? Up, make us gods. We may worship. Gusto nila mag, mag, magsamba. We shall go before us. It shows they wanted na, it shows that they wanted not God. Now, Aaron, we can see him. There is no record of any resistance on him from verses 2 to 5. Pinakinggan niya. Ang daing, ang hinaing ng mga taga-Israelita. And listen to this. A leader's attitude is to please God, not people. Amen. Alam nyo, kahit sabihin mong gaano mo na, kahit, kahit sabihin mo kung gaano ka nakatagal na kristyano, maybe 10 years or 20 years ka ng kristyano, minsan nakakaligtaan natin dito. Minsan nagiging man-pleaser tayo. Walang exempt, exempted sa mga ganitong mga bangay. Amen. Minsan, napiplis natin ang tao kesa ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, by the way, si Aaron ay kasama ni Moses. Nakita ni Aaron ang himala ng Diyos. Nang kanyang dalawang mata, nakita niya ang himala ng Diyos, pero dumating sa punto na si Aaron ay nagkasala sa harapan ng Diyos. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, But as we were allowed of God to be put in the trust with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God which trieth our hearts. Acts 5, 29, Then Peter and other apostles answered and said, We know this story, we ought to obey God rather than men. Are you pleasing God today? Aaron has been left in charge of the people while Moses remains in the Lord's presence. We can see here the request of the people to Aaron. Anong request? Gumawa sila ng idols. And we do believe na ang idols na ito ay malaking kasalanan sa harapan ng Diyos. Anong response ni Aaron? Aaron had no excuse at all for giving into the demands of the people to make a God for them. Marami tayong mga versikulo po dito na kung saan nakita ni Aaron kung sino talaga ang totoong Diyos. Exodus chapter 7 verses 1 to 3, Exodus chapter 7 verses 10 to 12, Exodus chapter 7 19 to 20. Ito yung mga versikulo na nagpapakita na kita mismo ni Aaron ang himala ng Diyos. Pero dumating sa ver, uh, chapter 32 verse 1 na si Aaron ay nagkasala sa harapan mismo ng Diyos. Wala siyang dapat na excuse. Pero nangyari ang mga bagay na ito. The result. Yes, we, we can see here the, the, the request of the people. The, ang response ni, ni, ni Aaron. Ang result. 
The result is a disaster and confusion sa mga tao, sa mga taga-Israelita. Maaari ang, ang sinasabi ni Aaron dati, okay, maglingkod kay sa tunay na Diyos, pero ngayon pinagbigyan niya mga Israelita na maglingkod sa mga idols. Nagbigay siya ng confusion. Kaya nga tayo mga Kristiyano, tayo po ay tumindig kung ano ang tama. Huwag tayo magbibigay ng confusion sa iba't ibang tao sa ating kamag-anak kung ano ang tama, tindigan po natin. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings and the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. This all apparently part of a festival to the Lord. They are using the same procedures. By the way, this is a light. Okay, sila ay natuto rin maglingkod sa Egypto. Pero sa maling paglilingkod. Ina-immune sila. Kaya nga nandiyan si Moses, okay? Para ituwid ang kanilang mga ginagawa sa harapan ng Panginoon. But listen to this, if you will please people, you wanted to be popular, instead you wanted to be pure. If you will please people. Praise God. Because this church ay ginagawa po natin ang lahat ng ating makakaya na makita po natin ang ating sarili ay pure sa salita ng Diyos. Ang ating pinapangalan, sinisikap natin ay talagang salita ng Diyos. Amen? Praise God po, kaninang umaga ang mensahe ay talagang pagpapala sa atin. Hindi ang story of my life. Amen? Hindi yung love story namin, kundi kung ano sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos. Ano, ano, ano mga pakinabang natin kung sasabihin natin ang ating buhay? Ang ating mga accomplishments sa buhay? Wala naman. In Galatians chapter 1 verse 10, For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Don't do what is popular. Instead, do what is right. Remember, this, the Israelites, when they were in Egypt, they were immune in worshiping idols. Kaya nga, ang pagtuturo, hindi yan dapat napuputol. Dere-derecho yun. Bakit? Minsan talaga tayo, kahit Sampung preaching ng ating napakinggan So in one week talagang Nagkakasala at magkakasala tayo Bumabalik tayo sa ating mga Sa ating mga pag-uugali Na hindi tama sa Panginoon And I do believe Moses did not fail The Israelites by being with God up on the mountain But Aaron definitely failed Amen? Aaron did what uh, Aaron did what was popular rather than men rather than what was right. He cared more about opinion of people than the glory of God. Kaya nga, please. Kung ano ang ministry natin sa kapurihan ng Diyos. Kung anong ginagawa natin sa kapurihan ng Diyos. Amen. Kung magaling kang umawit sa Panginoon sa kapurihan ng Diyos. Kung ano man ginagawa po natin, dapat sa kapurihan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Number two, not only the impatient Christians are faithless Christians, the impatient Christians are foolish Christians. Why? The people gathered in verse 1, hindi po tayo alis doon, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Make us gods which shall go before us. At this point, I want to focus on the foolish decisions of the Israelites. They were impatient people and hasty, and they were not thinking well. Again, they were looking for Moses and not to God. That if you are impatient Christian, the next step that you will do is to make foolish decisions. Amen? Amen? 
Lalo sa uh, ang magandang halimbawa diyan sa pag-aasawa, maraming mga nagkakamali. Foolish decision. Bakit? Dahil impatient. Amen? They know what is right. Moses gave his bed to teach the Israelites about God. But then, because of their impatience, they made their own ways instead of doing the ways of God. The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 14. And a good man shall be satisfied for himself. Now, in our decision, number one, under that, you have to know enough before you decide. You have to know enough before you decide. Hindi pa bigla, bigla. Itong mga Israelitang ito, marami na silang napakinggan kay Moses, pero nagkasala pa rin sila. Why? Because they were impatient. Amen? Amen. They were impatient, mga kapatid. And number two, not only that, you have to the power to make the decision. You have to have the power to make the decision. No one is making your decisions for you. Amen. You alone have the control of the reins of your life. Tama. Kaya nga po, dapat tayo ay uh, uh, grounded sa Word of God. Amen. Dahil ang ating buhay, araw-araw ito ay punong-puno ng pagdidesisyon. Amen? And number three, you have to accept the consequences of your choice. In verse 1, the broken law, we can see here the request of the people. In verse 7, the condemnation of the Lord. Amen? You have to accept the consequences of your choice. Hello, mga kapatid. Kaya mag-ingat po, mga kapatid. So, bawat Desisyon na gagawin natin sa ating buhay. In Colossians 3.25, But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Di ba kapag nagtanim ka ng pinya, tutubo ng pinya. Pag tanim ka ng kamatis, aani ka ng kamatis. Amen? Hindi ka pwedeng nagtanim ka ng pinya, aani ka ng kamatis. No. Kung, kung, kung magdidesisyon ka ng mali, asahan mo ang consequence. Asahan mo. Asahan po natin. Amen? Do not underestimate the power of a right decision. And last, the impatient Christians are the forgetful Christians. In verse 8, nasusundan niyo po ba? Amen? In verse 8, anong sabi ng Biblia? They have turned aside what? Quickly. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. Because they were impatient, they were forgetful. They were impatient and unwilling to wait for God's plan to unfold. Remember, God promised to take them to the, to the promised land and no doubt, for that, because God will do His promise. Pero ito, wala. Yes, no doubt, Moses is the leader of the Israelites, but they forgot in their exodus that God was the one who took care of them. Can you still remember the wonders in the wilderness? Pwede ko pa bang enumerate ito? The wonders of the wild, in the wilderness? An angel of God and a pillar of cloud and fire guarded the multitude in Exodus chapter 3 verse 21 and 22, but they forgot it. Lahat ng mga ginawa ng Diyos sa kanila, kinalimutan nila. Because they were impatient. A strong wind made a path for the Israelites through the sea. Exodus chapter 14 verse 21 to 29. The Egyptians' chariot wheels were made to swerve 
and the army was drawn in the sea. Exodus chapter 14, verses 25 to 31. But they forgot it. Kaya nga po, sabi ko, pag tinamag kang huruhujuhun, ang tigas ng ulo mo. Tama po ba? Di ba mga tagubikol, mga huruhujuhun kayo. Eh, kamo, di ba? Kamo. Huruhujuhun kamo, bakit matigas ang ulo? Ito ang mga taga-Israelita. Stiff-necked people. Bitter waters were made we sweet and drinkable. Exodus chapter 15, verse 22 to 25, they forgot it. Manna rains from heaven for bread. Biruin mo yan, maka-experience ka ng luto mula sa langit. Pero kinalimutan nila ito. Nakalimutan nila ito. Water comes from a rock, but they forgot it. Ah, parang nakakahiya, no? Ilagay mo ang iyong sarili sa mga taga-Israelita, nakakahiya. At minsan, hindi po natin namamalayan na ganun din tayo minsan sa Panginoon. Magiging impatient tayo at ginagawa natin yung sarili nating kakayanan, yung sarili, yung sarili nating daan, doon tayo. At kinakalimutan natin ang mga pagkilos ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. Nakakahiya mga kapatid. Moses' raised hand allows the Israelites to prevail over Amalek. Can you still remember this one? Kapag nakataas ang kamay ni Moses, ang mga taga-Israelita ay nananalo. At kapag naibababa niya ito, ang mga taga-Israelita ay natatalo. Nakalimutan nila ito. The impatient Christians are forgetful Christians. And I do believe na maraming mga pagkilos ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Maghintay ka, kapatid. May tamang panahon para sa iyo. I don't know kung ano ang hinihintay mo ngayon. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang mga desire mo sa buhay mo ngayon. Pero meron tamang panahon. The wind brings the quail. Numbers chapter 11 verse 31. The budding of Aaron's staff. Water from the rock and Moses seen. The bronze snake on a pole. The crossing of the Jordan. But they forgot it. When God works, the impossible things become possible. The invisible things become visible. Don't forget in what God did for you. We become impatient with God's plan and insist on our way. But let's have faith in God, mga kapatid. Amen? There is a perfect time for your dreams. Partner for everything. Amen? Wag pa dalos-dalos. Ito na ang edad ko. Dapat magmadali. Hindi dapat ganun. Ito na ang edad ko. Doon tayo sa panahon ng Panginoon. Kami, we are praying for baby. And you know that. <laughs> Di ba, alam niyo yan. Pero sabi, na, sabi, sabi namin sa Panginoon, Panginoon, kung hindi ngayon taon, mari next year. Kung hindi next year, mari next, next year. Pero hindi, kung hindi Panginoon, baka sa tribulation na lang Panginoon. At least may anak. Meron tamang panahon. Meron tayong mga desire, meron tayong mga dream sa ating mga buhay. Pero hintayin mo ang panahon ng Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11, He hath made everything beautiful in His time. Also, He hath set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Remember, impatience with God's plan is often the gateway to terrible sin. Amen? Amen. Please, please, may tamang panahon. For our conclusion, Amen? Amen. Mukhang ayaw nyo pa yata. Ah. The period of waiting is our opportunity to worship. Pray and grow. 
ba diba, kapag meron ka pang hindi ba nakakamit, the more na lumalapit ka sa Panginoon. Yung mga desire mo na hinihintay mo, the more na lumalapit ka sa Panginoon. This is our opportunity. Amen? In Psalms 37 verse 7, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of Him, because of him who prospereth in His way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Wait patiently, mga kapatid. Huwag tayong gumaya sa mga taga-Israelita na ginawa nila ang kanilang sariling kagustuhan. Di mo, mag-worship. Meron naman tamang worship. Pero sila, ginawa nila sa maling kapara- kaparaanan. Bakit? Because they were impatient. They were impatient. Number one, the impatient Christians are faithless. Number two, foolish. foolish. And number three, forgetful. Let us pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa aming napag-aralan.